Recently, this team of medical workers held a short performance as they were celebrating the discharge of nine COVID-19 patients from Entebbe Great B Hospital. Many of those present, including the State Minister for Primary Health Care, Joyce Morik, were moved by the music. While the performances are filled with joy, the medical workers are singing and are dancing to contend with many challenges in their daily duties of taking care of COVID-19 patients. Today, I visited Entebbe Great B Hospital, where I found some of the medical workers engaged in a praise and worship session. Light in the darkness, my girl, that is who you are. We make a I quickly joined the worship session during which the medics prayed for the COVID-19 pandemic to quickly end. They also prayed for their friends and families that they have not seen for a while. This is how the medics are having their Sunday service here at Entebbe Regional Referral Hospital. A number of things have been prayed for, including them praying for their fellow medics who are handling the COVID patients into different hospitals across the country. They have also prayed for the truck drivers that have of late raised the number of confirmed cases into the country. We send the Holy Spirit, Father, treat each truck driver, Father. We know we need the food. We know we need uh, the fuel, oh God, Father. But God is only you that can have a... After almost three hours of prayer and worship, I asked the different medics what they had specifically prayed for. As a person, I pray for those truck drivers that we may not get new cases. A lot of emotional support that is needed. I feel health workers, for everyone who is at the front line, no, no, or for God's intervention, protect them. People home, they are there. Some of us actually didn't tell them that we are part of this team, but uh, they are there hoping that we are fine. So we also prayed for them. There is a sense of trauma among these men and women because they are daily faced with the possibility of getting infected. International news reporting shows the increasing number of medical workers succumbing to COVID-19 only serve to make the situation worse. There are many, many health workers are losing their lives. So we also had to pray for our fellow health workers. Even when we put on these protective gears, we may make mistakes as we are putting them. And most of our fellows are getting sick uh, day and night across the group, so I think uh, we need God everywhere else. Dr. Andrew Mwenya is the leader of the group and I asked what inspired him to start it. The only way of positive thinking for us here is to fellowship, worship, share with one another and encourage ourselves. Dr. Mwenya, who is a volunteer doctor, shared one of his most memorable situations at the hospital. A lady who was positive um, but also pregnant with uh, all risk factors uh, in our pregnancy that uh, in order to, re to reduce on the, any, cons any consequences, she had to be operated. He says today's prayers were dedicated to truck drivers who are raising the number of confirmed cases in the country. Then now this is a new occurrence which has to be noted and actually dealt with uh, very fast. So as frontline medical workers, you know, when this, uh, we have to um, dedicate these to our drivers, the government and the necessary authorities. He, however, urges the public not to stigmatize and discriminate them. We should not de discriminate them. Well, they are from our neighboring countries, but they are bringing a service to the nation. Most of the COVID-19 frontline workers are volunteers who do not earn a salary, and there have been some calls for government to formally integrate them into the health workforce. Kamen Ivan Walnyolo, NTV.